welcome back and hey to everyone that's new as well. Yeah, I've got long hair now. Um, you know I get fed up with having my hair done every few months. So if you're going to say, oh, you've got new long hair. Yeah, I've got long hair. Right, so what we're going to do today is, will there be a commitment? Will there be commitment as a whole? Uh, so as always, we're going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. We're going to do deck number one and deck number two. So, have a think about you, have a think about your person, we're going to get where the energy from that, number one and number two, pick a deck. Three, two, one, ding. Okay, so how it works, deck times are in description, how it works is it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So what that means is I go into all your energy, I go into all your people's energy and I pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date. Um, it's just it is the strongest energy between you all it's not where it doesn't work on circumstances it works on energy okay right think about your person can we get into their person's collective energy please thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes i've got taylor swift red loving him was red <laughs> that was the worst singing in the world loving him was red uh taylor swift coming through my right ear. Uh, someone asked who it is that I communicate with. I know it's my guides. Um, so in my left ear, it is my um, my really close guides. My, my main guide is always in my left ear. And then speaking through my right ear is like the higher dimensional guides. So I always know who I'm communicating with at all times. I wouldn't do it if I didn't know who I was talking to. Um, so just because someone was asking me out of curiosity and um, you obviously don't want to go messing around with stuff you don't understand just as a heads up um okay can you tell me will there be commitment from their people what's the energy on that i haven't used these decks in ages Deck number one is there going to be any kind of commitment <laughs> Oh, and death. Oh, how lovely. Haven't we got a nice bunch going on here? Four, five. Do you want nine? Yeah. Six. Seven. Two more. Eight. And one more. Nine. So again, as I say, this doesn't work on individual circumstances, this works on your strongest mutual energy. So regardless of your situations, it's going to work on that energy that is mutual between you all. So what's currently happening with a lot of you and this situation is some shit has hit the fan or you've been ghosted or it's hot and cold or um, there's third party people and you're thinking, my, my little third party followers and you're thinking, well there was someone else they can't commit so you are a variety of situations as a whole there's obviously more than that and that's just surface levels because it goes a lot deeper um so as a whole this is where your energy is currently residing um we feel to be quite you feel to be quite stuck at the moment you're feeling quite stuck stuck waters feeling very muddy waters feeling like you're trying to move forward and you can't you're feeling like you're being dragged back now a good way to kind of view the way i kind of see uh, more divine relationships is that you are a four-legged animal like a dog okay think about my dog you like a four it was her birthday yesterday um like a, a four-legged animal and whilst your back legs which will be them are kind of stuck in like quicksand you are trying to pull them out of this quicksand and they are sinking further into it and so you can't wait you can't pull them out of this murky water or out of this quicksand until they are ready so it is going to be a case of timing all right and taking time for this to kind of naturally unfurl you know we talk about these roses and i say if you try and pull the roses try and open up the petals before the rose is ready to be going to, to open up you're going to break the petals so it's really important that you kind of take your time with this and um, your person needs you to take that they need to take their time with it as well um obviously everything you kind of want you want it now like we all do you can manifest things speeding up the manifesting video is linked in all the public descriptions so you can go and have a look at that um there's also a woman that i absolutely love that i've been recommending to everyone called agnes Vivali. Sorry Agnes if I'm saying you're wrong, um, but she's absolutely brilliant and she talks about manifesting text messages, manifesting contact. Um, so have a look at the manifesting video in mine and I really go recommend you have a look at her channel. She's absolutely phenomenal and um, she's a brilliant, brilliant woman and she's got really good success rates. Go have a look at what her manifesting tools and techniques are like. 
What's happening at the moment then as a whole is you've got the tower and you've got death. So things have sh shit has hit the fan. Every you're all kind of thinking, well, you know, maybe this is over now. I've had enough. There's only so much I could take. And um, they're also kind of echoing that energy. Um, and a lot of this energy that's kind of coming forward is fear based. So there's two emotions. I spoke about this before as well. There's love and there's fear. And your people are operating on a fear energy at the moment, as you are too. Now these are fears of commitment. These are fears of, um, you know, coming back from childhood when things went went wrong when they were kids and they're thinking well am I good enough am I this am I that there's a majority there's, there's a load of different fears kind of going on but as a whole it's the opposite of love okay um, and and it means that these this situation whatever your individual circumstances are this is currently the energy you are at and you're not sure what to do so you're stuck in this hanged man position trying to move your legs forward um, but not actually getting anywhere now the good news is that it's going to take a bit of time okay a, a little bit of time dedication um i always say don't put your life on hold for anyone keep, don't put your eggs and all in one basket keep your options open um but keep um keep focusing that energy back to you and working out what you want you shouldn't have to put your life on hold for anyone but the majority of the circumstances in this deck number one it's going to come back around anyway so even if you're not in contact even if you are in little contact even whatever your individual circumstances are if you focus that energy back towards you and you do self-love and your self-healing you take half hour out every day for yourself and you manifest what's right by you then this situation will come into fruition and they will come back towards you. They're going to be coming back with heart-centered energy with the Knight of Cups. So it's going to be acting more on the emotional side of things. A lot of them are standing in the passionate energy as well. So if they suddenly message you something about, uh, uh, that is sexual rather than heart-based and it annoys you, just be prepared. The reason for that is because the passion between the two of you is extremely strong. And that passionate energy will dictate how they can work out what to say to you. So in other words, they won't know what to say. So they'll come in with this sexual kind of chemistry, sexual energy, because it is that mutual energy that the two of you have between the two, between you. Now, part of that, then they'll, they might be like, oh, well, I can't commit because, you know, it is what it is. If that is the case, and that is what they say to you, make sure that you say, well, I am not going to commit to you until you commit to me. Even if you have no intentions of dating them or whatever, that is just keeping the power in your hands. If you give them, and especially my little third parties as well, if you give them everything that they want and you say, well, I'll be committed to you while you've got someone else, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot and you're making yourself more into this sticky, muddy, hanged man energy. Um, if you play your cards right, and, and I'm not just, and you know, you've got to have a bit of trust in the process and give it time, then this situation, they will come back and there will be some form of commitment offered, but this is not a quick fix. This isn't debt one, you're not going to wake up overnight and they'll be like, right, let's get married tomorrow. Uh, the majority of you, some of you it will happen, but as your collective energy, it, this is a time timing deck um is there a mutual timing on it no not really your timings we could look at individual readings but you also have to remember that time is fluid and um, you know we work with energy so it, time is always changing like energy is always changing frequencies are always changing and um, so with the best one in the world we can give you the accurate timings for that moment as i do your cards but free will and energy movement it can shift a tiny bit we're not normally that far out i mean we we as in me and my guides not normally that far out um but you just need to be aware of that you then have the hermit and you have the four of wands for celebration so once you've had this kind of period of reflection um once we've given it this this gentle nurturing energy um then you can the, there will be heart-centered movement towards you and the likelihood is that yes this is kind of a commitment engagement happy endings card so you will kind of get the happy endings in the long run but the whens the where's the hows and the whys it's going to be very individual circumstances but commitment is a possibility uh, for the majority of you but you've just got to play your cards right don't give them everything they want if you're worrying that they will not commit to you then make sure that you, you don't commit to them first because you're just shooting yourself in the foot by doing that okay um in the nicest way in the world but you you, you want what you want and and um the fact that you know a majority of you are, are the female energy sorry guys out there that um are the more masculine energies and um, remember it's never gender specific or sexually orientated but the female energy energies um of us lot we we are very uh, loving and very nurturing and very this is what we want and queen of cups heart-centered energy whereas you need to kind of shift that energy into your queen of swords energy and say well if this is going to happen this is going to be on my 
my terms, which will then make these masculine energies kind of go into hunter mode, start trying to hunt you down. Read Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, best book ever. Um, hunter mode, you know, we're going back to the caveman kind of orange origins when the ma masculines would go out and go and, and get the prey and bring the food and be the providers and the females would be the loving, the nurturing and things like that. That kind of energy. But you've got to up your game a little bit rather than giving them everything they want because then they haven't got a need to come and hunt you to hunt you down and give, give you what you want you know it's all about kind of part of this is going to be about the chase rather than just giving them everything that they want at that point in time because if you do that you're going to end up shooting yourself in the foot and not getting like uh, not getting what you want from the situation so you just need to be very conscious of what you're saying conscious of your thoughts and feelings uh, and conscious of kind of i wouldn't say self protect as such but just be aware of what your end game is your end goal and to get that end goal you're going to have to kind of work with the energies that you are being given and that will come through with this non-commitment thing. If you don't commit to them, they won't, you know, you get in the power in your hands. Um, this situation, if you guys are not in contact, it will come back round. Uh, some of you, that is a couple of weeks away. Some of you, that is a couple of months away. Whereas the commitment timing, that is very, very variant on and it, and it on an energetic level, sorry, Spirit said, and a communication level. Um, the song Taylor Swift read at the start that I got for you. Um, if you are worrying that your person is getting over you, please don't, because that song is about even, um, it's a beautiful song, it goes through all the colours, which is very spiritual in a way, but it's saying all about um, if you you go through all the, these certain colours with the emotions that kind of come from it but the love between the two of you is this colour red it's the passion, it's the, the heart centred energy it's strong and love will prevail um, but you've got to stay on top of your game for this to happen if you want that level of commitment you've got to be in your power Okay. sorry guys, uh, not that you are going to know this because I'm going to merge it all into one video but my phone just rang um, for some reason it rang and I have it on I have it on do not disturb but it rang so it cut out the video just as that one time is finishing so this is deck number two I have no idea what time we're on but I will put it in the description for your timing so as always deck number two B's this is going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all um, anything that doesn't resonate just remember it for a later date because it normally does come up how it works is I work it going to your your you guys energy we're going to go into your people's energy and it kind of dips into all the energies pulls out the strongest mutual energy between you all so think about your person can we get into their energy please their people's energy uh what have we got there we just got Backstreet Boys showing me the meaning of being lonely, um, but also Backstreet Sparks. We've kind of got a, a, a dual DJ thing going on here, like a mixtape um, of two different songs. So you guys are kind of in a split energy at the moment of um, being in your kick-ass power, like I'm back, I'm back. Um, and then the other side of things is that you're feeling quite lonely at the moment. Now, if that isn't you, that will be your people because we're just about to get into our thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought process. We've also got the cat and the cradle and the silver spoon and the man on the moon. Not quite sure why we've got that. Okay, can you tell me will there be deck two, will there be commitment for those that have picked deck number two? Is there commitment with them? and their person. You guys need to breathe. <laughs> one of you is at one of you at the very least is having a, a, a tummy butterfly thing going on. Will there be commitment between those that picked at number two? Is there commitment? Two. Mm -hmm. Three. Do you want those ones as well? Five. How many did we have? Nine, six, seven, eight, nine. We need four more. Can I have two more? Um, Spirit are talking to me uh, about numbers. I was saying in the first video, um, someone asked me who I communicate with the other day. It's all me guides. Me left ears my main guide, and me right ears are uh, the higher dimensional guides. Um, 
but they are talking, the higher dimensional guides at this point in time are talking about working out the numerolo numerology sequences. Now I know a lot of you are into astrology, but Spirit is saying that there's a link with this astro astrological side of things and the numerology between your cycles and your birth dates and your number chart. So if you have, um, go and have a look guys, if you haven't had a look at numerology, um, might be worth trying to add up your numbers, your birth numbers, you and your person's birth numbers, see what the mutual energy is on that, see if you've got any echoing energies on that. Um, just have a look at numerology. It's not I have I've got a understanding of it, more of an understanding of numerology, astrology based on tarot. But they're talking about your astro astrological charts. A lot of you have compared them. They're talking about having a look at your numero numerological charts as well, um, because there's quite a few hidden hidden things going on that you guys haven't quite explored at the moment. And rather than delving yourself into the twin flame and karmic energy cycles and what's happening there it's worth having a look at the, the more, I wouldn't say factual, but the more metaphysical kind of side of things, um, you know, with regard to numero numerological sequences. Um, you know, each year we start a new, a new numerolo numerological number for our life patterns and where we are going and things like that. People seem to think it happens at New Year. Some numerolo num numerology people believe that, but every I, I work with the kind of birthday side of things. So each year coming up to your birthday, you are going to be starting a new cycle with the new year. And as is your person, you, you go into a new numerology number. So it's going to be worth having a look at that. Uh, some of you have also, uh, we're off on one at the moment. Sorry guys, spirit. Um, I will do your cards in a minute. Some of you, uh, cards in a minute. Some of you are also starting to have a look at your soul origins. So they're saying, the spirit is saying, if you are trying to work out the ins and outs of this relationship, rather than looking at the surface level, look deeper into what's actually happening. So, uh, soul origins, numerology, um, astrology for those of you that are astrology, astro astrology based. I don't like zodiacs. I like astrology, um, but. They're saying look deeper into what's actually going on. Uh, this could also be past life regression. If you need a past life reading, drop me a message. We do past life. Me and me guys do past life readings with you. Um, going back in time, seeing what's kind of happened along the way, and give you uh, and give you homework on how to clear it. It's the teacher and me. I, um, you know, if you struggle with homework, we could we could clear it for you. But they're saying it's best that you do the homework yourself. So just throwing that out there. If you wanted to know more about your relationship and the ins and outs and the whys. These are the kind of factors you need to be looking at rather than twin flames, soulmates, karmic. They're very, those, those titles are very, very generic titles. They don't really give you the ins and outs of a relationship. They, they are, give you kind of a, a, a fact sheet and you kind of tick off your fact sheet. Whereas no twin flame journey is the same as the last one, you know? And, no, and so it's worth having a look at the deeper side of things rather than just a surface level or we could be twin flames. Just throwing it out there for you. So on this commitment side of things, it is looking really, really promising. Um, but Spirit is saying the commitment to the, them has to be to yourself first, okay? It's all going back to this unconditional love side of things. And they're saying, well, if you have unconditional love for your person, why do you not have unconditional love for yourself? And this is where they're talking about to get commitment from your person, you have got to get commitment from yourself. Okay, that's important. Um, and that is the basis of all these cards kind of coming forward. If you put in the work to yourself, you commit to yourself and you, you, you trust in the process, trust in yourself, then you can get the commitment from your people. But you have to do it within yourself first, which is why they're saying look at the deeper meanings of what is going on. So you've got the Queen of Cups, you've got the Queen of Swords, all right? So you're in between two split energies, which is what I said at the start. You've got these two side of things, your kick-ass power, and then your emotional side of things as a whole. This is where your energy is at the moment. There has been um, a few bits and bobs of, uh, since March, where everyone's been a little bit up and down. People have been quite sad as a whole due to the universal energies that are going on. But you're kind of coming out of that side of things now. Um, but you are in these two minds of what you actually want okay because one moment you're like yeah this is what I want you know in your heart it's what you want but your head's like nah I'm cool I'm sassy I'm, I ain't gonna I ain't putting up with this no more so we've got these kind of two mind frames going on 
this in turn is then echoing onto your person. So your person is tend to be thinking, again, doesn't work on circumstances, works on mutual energy. Um, so your person is thinking, well, I do love them, but equally, I'm not sure if this is quite right for us at this moment in time. And this is what is pausing this level of commitment. It's not going how you want it to go. They aren't really giving you much of what you actually want at this moment in time. Now, the reason for that um, is because they just want to make sure that they are making the right choices. They don't want to be um, throwing them all their eggs into one basket. They want to be taking their time with it. There's been a lot of hurt in the past. Um, some of them have had cheating situations going on. Trust is a major issue that is being flagged up within this deck. And these kind of minor, they might not minor issues, sorry, that's my mistake. State. these issues um, need to kind of be resolved first before any kind of commitment can come forward so you've got two aspects of seeing this you've got the spiritual side of things and you've also got the earthly side of things um, and you've got your two mind frames on it the rest of the cards are actually really good so we, at the moment you've got the five of cups and eight of swords and the page of pentacles everything's kind of feeling a little bit stuck a little bit trapped um, but you're working it through, you're starting to bridge the gap I'm hearing as well and there's also been water, a lot of water is now going under the bridge and what they mean by that is that things from the past are starting to be put to bed there is more work that needs to be done for this to move into a committed relationship but this water under the bridge is kind of starting to ease up now and things are starting to move forward well they will start moving forward once we get out get you guys out of this trapped energy um, it feels a bit stagnant at the moment and the reason again why they're saying spirit is saying that it's stagnant at the moment is because until you kind of commit to yourself and you give yourself this unconditional love then it will reflect on them okay and um, I hate the phrase saying you've got to love yourself first because I don't believe that's necessarily true if you want a relationship but for the more divine relationships you do need to love yourself first and um, I don't mean it um, when I say it's not necessarily true sorry my guy told me off then not that it's not necessarily true but you know we, we you can get told to you blue in the face you need to love yourself first but you are it, it's a work in progress you don't just wake up one day and do it um so that won't stop you going into a relationship with someone if that is what you want sometimes it will because you're not ready but if you feel ready and you feel like your love is a work in progress, you can have a relationship with someone. But the more divine relationships and the more committed relationships, there is more work that needs to be done within your pathway and your, your own inner energy. Um, so then we've got the Page of Pentacles. Your person is going to be coming to make you some kind of offer, communicating an offer towards you. Um, this could possibly be an offer of commitment with the Ace of Pentacles over here as well. More stable beginnings, more stable offerings. Um, and this will happen as the more commitment you give yourself, this will echo onto your person. You then have reconciliation for you guys that are not talking. You've got the Three of Cups, which sometimes can be fair party, but this is saying, but saying this is a celebration and the Wheel of Fortune. So you can get your commitment from this person, um, but the commitment has to start and the self-love has to start with you first. If you is not, not this person that you were interested in and you were just wanting to be loved, then you can get that. Um, when you feel the time is right, you can manifest the outcomes that you desire and that you want. Those of you that aren't in communication, Spirit is saying that communication will come rapidly once you release the situation. And um, that isn't counterproductive, they're saying. I always say to people there's a difference between letting go and moving on. Releasing the situation um, means that it can come back towards you. There's a universal law, I bang on about this, I'm sorry if I'm banging on again, that when space is created, the universe has to match up with something equal to or more than. And at the moment, if you're holding on so tightly to this situation that you want this commitment and there's no room for anything else, you are not creating space, which means the situation cannot move forward. Try some releasing meditations, try some letting go meditations. Um, if you're after contact, I said in depth number one, have a look at my uh, the beautiful Agnes Bivali, on YouTube, she does contact uh, meditations for manifestations and stuff like that. She's top, she's brill. Um, so go and have a look at her. Um, I really recommend her. Um, so yeah, so that's the kind of energy. It, 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 you can get it. Again, it's a work in progress. If it isn't this person that you want to be with um, and you want to see what else is available, then you can go and branch down that line um, and that would happen quicker than this kind of commitment coming through here. Um, some of you are already further down this journey than the rest of you and your commitment could happen within a month or two. 
if you keep progressing at the level you are, you will know who you are. If that resonates in your stomach, you will know who I'm talking about. If that does not resonate, then that is because yours is going to take a bit longer, unfortunately. Um, but it's really promising. You know, you, you're already halfway there by stepping into these two mutual energies with the Queen and the uh, Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords. You're already stepping into those energies, and of course, there's always going to be hurt and pain because it's it's more complicated relationship. But offerings will be made, so it's more about focusing on yourself and um, giving yourself the kind of commitment that you're giving them. If you're giving your person sending over energies and healings and things like that, send it to yourself. Because that will then echo onto them and it means that it will move forward quicker. Self-love, I know it sounds cliche, but self-love is key to divine relationships moving forward. You know, it is um, not easy. Divine relationships will never be easy. But if you want a normal relationship, you can go and get it. But if you want this person and this divine person, then the key is starting with yourself and focusing that energy back to you. Back to you. And it will move and it will shift and you'll get what you want but it's not quick. But there will, this debt, there is offerings that are gonna be made. Reconciliation for those of you that aren't, um, aren't in communication at the moment. Try not to get too pissed off with the universe and spirit and whatever whatever energies you work with, you work with God, well, with God or whatever. Um, I'm, met, I'm a metaphysicist, I'm a physicist really, because I work with frequencies, I work with numbers. Um, but those of you that are religious, you know, don't, don't get annoyed at the system, don't, uh, uh, though the powers that be don't get annoyed at them you know they are trying to help you they're trying to guide you and you can scream and you can shout and you can flow your hair around whip your hair back and forth but it's still going to take time it's a case of divine timing for a lot of this energy and um, keep focusing that energy back towards you you know enough of giving it to them take it to yourself and that is showing that level of commitment then for yourself which then will then mean that they can then commit to you if that makes sense and that's step number two. All right, guys. So if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. My wait list is on 20 days. I know it's a long way away. Well, it goes really quick for me. But I have got, as you're probably aware, I've got a massive wait list for, of you guys. Um, so I will do them as quickly as I can. Um, but if you want all the details and prices, etc., just drop me an email, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. You can find me on Instagram. That's just mysticlovetarot. I am a bit useless at responding to my Instagram messages. So sorry, guys. That message me on there and it takes me a while to respond email is the best way to get me um and that's it so i'll speak to you all soon lots of love god bless bye